Hello friends, this week we are going to be jumping back into science and since it's been a while since we've worked on science and this unit, we are going to do a quick little review about how seeds travel today. So I'm going to read um, this article about how seeds travel and then you guys are going to answer a few questions about what we read. The rest of the week we'll be talking about structure and function and then we're going to jump into what do animals need. So we're going to continue with our plants for a few days and then we're going to jump into talking about animals and what animals need. Let's get started today on how seeds travel. How can we make sure plants have the space they need? Get rid of weeds. Weeds are unwanted plants. How do weeds get into gardens? Unwanted plants means plants that you don't want. You don't want them in that space, so they are going to get rid of them. So in the picture you see, they are picking the weeds out of the garden. How do weeds get into gardens? We see a picture of a dandelion. Most weeds start as seeds. Seeds come from flowers. First the seeds get ripe, then they are ready to travel. Some seeds glide or spin in air. They might land far away. If they land on moist soil, they can grow. We see a picture of a bear covered in some seeds. Some seeds are carried by animals like the bear in the picture. These seeds have little hooks. The hooks can hold on to animals' fur. The seeds go where the animal goes. So wherever this bear goes, the seeds will go with him until they fall off. Some seeds can even be carried by you. They can stick to your sweater or shoes. Some seeds will fall off. When they land on moist soil, they can sprout and grow. Birds and squirrels can move seeds too. Birds eat berries and fly away. There are seeds inside the berries. Now the seeds pass through the birds. Now the seeds are in new places. We see a picture of a squirrel eating a nut. Squirrels eat seeds too. They hide acorns to eat during winter. Lost and forgotten acorns can grow into oak trees. Seeds travel in many ways. Now, can you tell how weeds get into gardens? Thinking about how seeds travel. Here are some questions that you can choose to answer today. I want you to pick one question and restate the question to answer it. Thinking about how seeds travel, question number one. How do seeds travel in air? Question number two. How do seeds with hooks travel? Question number three. How do birds move seeds? Question number four. How do squirrels move seeds? Just pick one of these questions to answer and I want you to restate the question. For example, if you pick to answer number one, how do seeds travel in air? Then you would say seeds travel in air by, and then you would finish your sentence with the answer. For example, question number two, how do seeds with hooks travel? You would restate by saying seeds with hooks travel by, question number three, how do birds move seeds? You would restate that by saying birds move seeds by, then you would finish with your answer. And question number four, how do squirrels move seeds? You would say squirrels move seeds by, I am going to include one example of how to restate one of these questions on the slide. And what you're going to do is use your pencil and paper, restate and answer one of these questions and upload a picture of your work to the Google form.